there are a lot of features in Brawl Stars, some of them better than others and some of them which got removed. And today I'm gonna tell you every single feature that got removed from Brawl Stars. Sit back, relax and let's get started. Number 1 experience levels. Introduced at the very start of the game, this was a great feature back in the day. It showed you how much you played the game, but as the game slowly progressed, we got new indication of someone's skill level and the levels got outdated. Fun fact, you can still see them by clicking this icon on your profile. Number 2. Big game tickets. One of the actual better features this game had. You could find those in chests and use them on weekly events like big game and stuff for more more rewards you could stack them and get huge amounts of tokens for chests. They're pretty great in my opinion but I think they couldn't really be in today's Brawl Stars because we already have too much stuff going on. Number 4 star tokens. So back in the day where there was no battle pass yet, you could collect normal and epic boxes with tokens and star tokens. You could get a star token by playing a map for the first time since its rotation, so basically one per day for each game mode and you needed 10 to get a big box. This feature was probably to keep players logging on every day, but today we have things like daily quests and daily rewards, so star tokens wouldn't make sense anymore. Number 5. Facebook login. Oh, that's pretty self-explanatory and also who gives a shit this game is not for boomers after all number six eight bits minigame this was a part of browser's lore and it was only available for one day you had to beat a few stages of retro games all of them starring 8-bit and his lore some really shady stuff if you want to learn more check out some videos which go more in depth about this topic oj did a great one there were more events about the browser's lore which were in the game similar to this one, but this was just so significant that I had to mention it. Number 7. Removed game modes. Let's first start with the ones that are actually worth mentioning and before I start this is subjective so chill out in the comments. Lone Star. It works like bounty but everyone is for themselves. The player with the most stars at the end gets the most trophies. God damn that mode was fire. Wait. Why was it even deleted? Yo, yo, I stole it. <laughs> he just kill stole me and took it. Bang, there it is. <laughs> really, 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 really. Yes, okay, we took the kill from Liam. Steal, steal. <laughs> yes. Well, we're gonna kill steal. That was my prank. You gotta try to steal kills, guys. And he steals both kills. He can steal kills. Did they just kill steal me? They just kill stole me. Rude. I couldn't even kill steal that. Yeah, I think I got it now. Showdown Plus. Works like Showdown, but you get additional trophies for defeating enemies. Supercell was trying to be smart with destroying teamers in Showdown, but it backfired and backfired hard. After a few days, every other game mode was dead because everyone was playing Showdown Plus. Who doesn't want to get 10 more trophies every game? And it only delayed teaming by like a hundred trophies, let's say from 600 to 700 trophy range. You cannot stop teaming, Supercell. It is the way of life. Volleyball. This is one of those things where where they are great in concept but absolutely garbage when they get implemented. Don't get me wrong, I'm not hating on Wally Bro, I actually enjoyed it, but once you start facing more skilled opponents, you realize that a lot of brawlers have pushing, stunning and other abilities which are devastating for Wally Bro. So yeah. It got unbalanced pretty fast. Next are the game modes which were part of some yearly event and might come back somewhere in the future but I can't really know if they will so I will mention them. Present plunder. Steal presents from the other team and bring them to your base. First team to do this two times win. You can drop the present on the ground for like two seconds after that it despawns back at enemy's base. Same with pumpkin plunder but you have a pumpkin instead of a present. I know crazy right? Mystery mode. As its name suggests is a mystery mode. You can get any mode with any modifier, well not exactly every single one, but you could get something like Sholo Showdown with 10 different modifiers, or some 3v3 mode with your whole screen tilting and gravity changing, or maybe Brawl Mode with a burning ball which damages you and can destroy walls. Rest in peace to all the people who picked Teak and had to face the Peekaboo modifier. If you know, you know. Now here are some of the most hated and not played game modes, they were just there to take the slot from the better ones. See, you had to collect boats, there was a timer and 
when the timer stopped, the team with the more boats would spawn a bot. Their boats would reset to zero, but the enemy team would keep the boats they have for the next round. The objective of the game was to destroy the enemy team turret, and if no one destroyed the turret, the team with more health on their turret would win the game. This game mode was a part of the game for a long time. Supercell tried to fix it many times, but at the end it wasn't popular enough to be kept in the game. Some people loved it and many hated it. It is possible that it was too technical and complicated for the average player because you had to work on offense, defense and keeping positioning and other things. Super City Rampage. If there is anyone in the world who likes this shit, please message me and I can help you get into rehab. So jokes aside, this mode was basically a dinosaur who destroys buildings and you had to kill him before he destroys the whole city. Similar to Godzilla we have right now, but it was PvE, so players versus entity. And you basically had no control over where the dinosaur was moving. You either just sprayed his ass with bullets or trap him with some glitch. It was like a boss fight but much worse. Now here are all the moves I don't really care about and got removed. If you want to share some nostalgia about these modes, please do so in the comments. Take down, hold the trophy, bot drop, trophy thieves and last stand. Now I already see someone going to the comments and saying, well technically trophy thieves is a remove from the game, it will come back next year. Yes, okay, I understand and I do not care. <laughs> Moving on to number 8. Star points. You got them every season from Power League and Trophy Reset. It was like bling. You could buy some special skins with them or some mega boxes every season. And well, I don't really understand why they got removed or why they changed it to bling. Probably because it is not compatible with Power League we have right now. Number 9. Power play. This was the first form of competitive Brawl Stars in which everyone with a star power could compete. You would play 3 matches a day and each match would be awarded with some points. At the end of the season you would get an amount of star points based on your local leaderboard ranking. This system had many flaws. I personally really enjoyed it because it was just the right amount of competitiveness for a day. But I can see that only 3 matches per day can be really underwhelming for competitive players and too much much for a casual player. It forced you to play 3 matches a day even if you didn't want to or just straight up hated it. Number 10. Power League. An attempt to fix power play with little results. This was the system in use before we got the ranked game mode we have right now. The same system but with a difference that instead of banning and choosing your picks now starts in diamond, well before it started at the very start in different words it started in bronze and there were no modifiers. So it was more competitive experience than the one we have right now but with less reward. The Brawl Stars team did a pretty good job fixing rank but they neglected the top 1% of players with this system right now. Bobby made a pretty great video explaining this in depth, so you can check that out if you want after this one. Number 11. Clan Wars. As the name suggests, you would race against 7 other clans in your league or compete is a better word. You would have some kind of tickets which you would spend for playing and with that gaining trophies for the club. At the end of the week, the club with the most trophies would get the best rewards and most promotion points. There was also a club shop where spend your club points and trade them for gold, power points and some other items. Supercell really tried to fix this system, they made countless changes in terms of rewards and the core point of the clan wars, the frequency, everything they really could have thought of. But they couldn't really find that sweet spot. It was just not fun and felt like a chore after some time. But the progression from these club wars was so good that you couldn't just ignore them. And at the end they scrapped the whole idea and switched it for this gambling addiction of a pig. Which we have right now. It's already dying because the rewards are pretty shit. Number 12. Battle Pass stuff. First off, you cannot buy it with gems anymore. It's just sad to see this change. I never spend money on this game and I don't plan to. So so I have this change, but it is what it is, they gotta make more money I guess, I don't really care that much since we have pretty nice rewards even in the free pass right now. Secondly, you don't get a new brawler in the pass anymore, I mean you do get them but not the chromatics anymore. I was so happy because that meant we won't get new brawlers so frequently, there is already too many in my opinion, but now they spam them out like crazy and put a price tag of 20 euros on each one like damn man, just stop spawning 
spawn in new brawlers every 3 weeks. And the third thing that is connected to the battle pass is the removal of chromatics and chroma credits, which I don't really give a shit about since chromatics rarity always had that pay to win stigma attached to it, at least for me. Oh yeah, chroma credits were used to buy chromatic brawlers, you could choose which one you wanted to buy with the exception of last two which were much more expensive. Number 13. Trophy Road Rarity You used to unlock brawlers on certain trophy milestones. That was so great man, who the hell thought it was a great idea to replace them with 50 power points bro? Like what the hell are trophy road rewards right now? Oh yeah I forgot we have legendary star drops every 10k so now that I think about it it is really nice. Oh! Number 14. Gears. Oh not gears but gear tokens, scrap and gear level. That was a really bad time for Brawl Stars in general. The gears were really expensive and hard for you to upgrade. The whole scrap economy was worse than the gold economy we have right now. So I'm really glad they remove all that nonsense. Number 15. The saddest of them all. Boxes. Do I need to even explain this one? Boxes got removed and replaced with this gambling addiction of drops we have right now full of garbage rewards. The feeling of your mega box having 7 items is lost to history forever. Supercell even made a video talking about how the removal of boxes is a good thing. But when you look at the comments, there is not a single one who agrees with the removal. Just sad man. Number 16. Star powers. I could find 9 star powers which got removed, some other star powers got heavily reworked and I won't include those now. Firstly the most iconic one, 8 bits extra life. It was the holy star power of Brawl Stars bro. You killed 8 bit? Nope. He just respawned, at least he didn't have his ammo reloaded, that would be super damn OP. I played at that time but couldn't get my hands on that star power but every time we would play friendly matches, boy it was great, I used 8 bit every single time. The second one is B's honey coat, which would allow B to stay on 1 HP even if the last shot would kill her. It basically granted her 1 ammo shield, it was super broken at the time and that's also why it was deleted or changed. The the other star powers are not really special in any way to be honest. Was there a Jin star power where he dealt more damage if he shot his last ammo or did I make that up in my mind, please someone tell me, like less Jin's ammo would deal more damage. Did I make this up or was this actually in the game, I can't remember. Number 17. Gadgets. And the only one truly worth mentioning is the search teleport gadget. It will always be remembered in our hearts, so he could basically teleport through walls with just one click of a gadget. Then we also have Piper Auto Aimer, which would shot 4 quick shots into the enemy, Carl's Heat Ejector, which would leave hot rocks behind him, really damn useless, and Teak's Backup Mine, where Teak would dash forward and leave a mine behind him. Number 18. Old Penny. As I was researching this video, I realized that what we have right now, it's not Penny, it is just a fake clone produced by Super Soul to trick people. They changed all her star powers and both her gadgets. They redesigned her turret mechanics and even remodeled her. Now there is no way you can convince me, this is the real Penny. This all made Penny actually useful because I remember back in the day watching what the best brawlers are and Penny was consistently last for quite a lot of time. But the world would be a different place if old Penny never existed. So never forget it. Uh, I don't know where I was going with that to be honest. Yeah, so if you're still here, thank you for watching this far. And if I missed anything, please write it down in the comments. And I know you don't have anything better to do, so you may as well watch this video on how to improve in Brawl Stars on the left. And as always, see ya folks.